did you hear the news? They made it through the selections for Masterful Chefs. Really? Woohoo! That's great! <laughs> it was a total breeze. I wasn't even trying. Uh, but a true champion never rests on their laurels. I'm still gonna need your help to prepare for the competition. I made a few new test dishes and I was hoping everyone could try them and give some feedback. A traveler, you wanna be the first? Uh, oh, yeah, we did. And anyway, we get to eat your food all the time, so we're biased. You should find some other people this time, just to play it safe. Good idea. Okay, let me think. Hmm. Ah, let's get Beto to try it first. Beto! Yep, you can definitely trust her opinion. Let's go find her. Right now, she should be down at the docks. Let me box up this food real quick, then we can head on down. Beto, ahoy! Hey, look, who is she with? Hi, Beto. Hi, Xinyan. Are we interrupting anything? Shang Ling, <laughs> woman of the hour. We were just talking about you. Oh, well, Beta was saying you and I should get ourselves on board sometime. Says the whole crew's been asking for us. <laughs> Seems like you three go way back. Oh, we really do. Beto and Shinyan are two of my oldest customers, and I've helped out in the kitchen on board Beto's ship in the past. Recently, Shinyan's been planning to do a show on board, too. That's the plan. Good music's meant for sharing. You guys should check it out sometime. Will do. But I came here today because I made it into the Masterful Chef's Finals, and I was just trying out some new dishes to bring to the competition. Can you have a little taste and give me some feedback? Sure. Beats drinking on an empty stomach. Oh, about time. I'm starving over here. Let's see what you got. Oh, man. This chicken foo young's tasting... Awesome! Oh, this food is too good for me to be soaking up the alcohol with. <laughs> These three seem to have a great time with each other. Only thing is, you've got three dishes here. Chicken Fu Young, Come and Get It, and Crystal Shrimp, and they all taste kind of refreshing. Uh, is refreshing really a flavor? When you spend all your time at sea, you don't have a lot of choice when it comes to food. Especially on the longer voyages, where you've got to stretch out your rations as far as you can. First thing you want to do when you get back on dry land is dig into a nice hot meal that's swimming in oil and has a ton of flavor. That's the exact opposite of Ning Wong's tastes. Oh, sure is. Beto's tastes are pretty similar to mine and Xiang Ling's. Ugh, Ning Wong. I am sick of hearing that name. Our tastes couldn't be more different. You'll never find us eating the same bowl of food. But last time when you were chatting with her, Paimon thought you two seemed to get along just fine. We're evenly matched. Guess that makes us equals. But I'm sorry, limp cabbage leaves are never going to do it for me. Oh, I hear ya, I hear ya. Steamed cabbage and broth might be upper class and look fancy and all, but man, is it boring! It's never gonna give you that flavor explosion you get with some of the other dishes out there. So, Xinyan, are these dishes too mild for you too? Well, not so much mild. I just think you maybe missed a beat somewhere. Exactly. This is some fine cooking, no question about that. But if this is for a competition, it needs more... Oomph. Beat? Oomph? Mm, are we sure these terms apply to cooking? Beat? Um, oomph. Hmm. Beat, yeah. You know what a beat is? I only know music, though. I'm nowhere near your level when it comes to cooking, so don't mind me if it doesn't make much sense. No, no, you're both completely right. Beat and oomph. That's what I need. I actually thought as much while I was cooking them. Even though this was a brand new combination, it still felt like I was missing that one thing that'll seal the deal. You know, really push it over the finish line. Seems like she's found her muse. Um, does that mean music theory is compatible with cooking? Hey! Paimon didn't 
quite get the implication, but Paimon can tell when you're being a meanie. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Great, so this went really well. Don't hold back, just get out there and do your thing. You're a pro, Xiangling, and you've totally got this. Hands down, best chef in Liyue Harbor. Ain't that right, Fado? Well, I think so anyway. More than any other chef. And there ain't a whole lot of people I'd be willing to say that about. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thanks, everyone. All right, we'll leave you to it. I'm gonna take Shinyan on board for a while. Xiangling, they both had pretty strong tastes. You sure that won't be a problem? Shouldn't we get a second opinion from someone with milder tastes? That's a good point. Beto likes her greasy stir-fries, and Xinyan can really handle her spice. Yeah, we should get another opinion. Now, who do we know whose tastes are on the mild side? Um, Traveler, any suggestions? Who, who, who? Back to Wang Xiu Inn? Who? Oh, who is it? Someone you just missed last time we were there. Huh? Oh, Paimon remembers. He said that we just need to speak his name and poof, he'll show up. Um, will he definitely hear us saying his name though? Maybe we should find somewhere quieter. Let's take turns shouting his name! Uh-huh. Uh, do I need to do this too? Hyman's going first! Ahem. Yeah! Um, nothing's happening. Hmm, let me try again. Straight. Some guy with special powers promised you both that you just need to shout his name and he'll show up? Um, well, not both actually, just one of us. Oh, right. Well, you should be the one to try it then. Paimon clearly just doesn't want to feel left out. Mm -hmm. Okay then. You called? Whoa! <gasps> he actually came! You spoke my name, did you not? When I make you a promise, I will honor it. Blink of an eye and poof! He's there! That's how you know he's an adeptus. An adeptus? Oh, it's Xiao, was it? Hi there! It was me who asked the traveler to call you here. My name's Xiangling. I'm a chef. I've made it into the finals of this year's Masterful Chefs, and I'm testing some dishes out in preparation. I'm trying to get feedback from customers with all different tastes. Customers. And that includes me? Uh-huh. The traveler says you prefer mild food. Just the kind of person I'm looking for. If you don't mind, I'd like you to try the dishes I've made and tell me your thoughts. <sighs> Since it's you, I will do it. Hmm. Um, how is it? Are you sure you can eat it? Don't force yourself. Tastes pretty good. Huh? Uh, really? I can't believe it. An adeptus says he likes my cooking. If my dad was here, he'd be crying tears of joy. You excel in the culinary arts. I'm reminded of another chef I know. That chef cooks dishes with soul, as do you. Both of you are masters of your craft. Uh, who do you think he means? Smiley Yencho? If I had to find fault with something, the two sides are a little strong for my taste. Some minor adjustments would take this dish from excellence to perfection. Just my own opinion. Do not fixate on it. Take it or leave it as you see fit. All right, go easy on the sides. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Adeptus friend. It was really great to meet you. I'll be leaving now. See you next time. 
Paimon still can't believe he actually came! So, what would happen if we called his name again now? Do you think he'd come back right away? Only kinda maybe not really joking! Jeez! Good news! After two rounds of taste testing, I've had an idea on what to do next! Great! Lucky we picked the right people to talk to! I'd better head back and try this out a few times while it's fresh in my mind. Thanks for your help. Oh, and the final is in Yujing Terrace. You better come and watch. Will do. Good luck! <laughs>